your tailgate party sports betting podcast for this Monday, May the 10th. Let's get to some key and critical information for today. Remember, any late breaking information will be at Offshore Insider on Twitter. Although my website is offshoreinsiders.com, remember we are Offshore Insider on Twitter because of the character limitations, no S at the end. Major League Baseball, the game in which uh, weather will be a major factor, would not be surprised if the Colorado Rockies game tonight is going to be uh, postponed. It is going to be raining hard almost the entire day. So uh, that's the game. In fact, I'm sorry, it actually has officially, officially been postponed Um, The Colorado Rockies game tonight has been postponed with the San Diego Padres. Let's get to some key critical betting information. We'd like to go over something uh, new each and every day. And these have been the top teams to bet on this year in Major League Baseball in terms of Units 1. And it's very important, some of the things we're going to demonstrate to you. You know, the top team to bet on this year is only 500. It's all about value, and we say it time and time again. You know, much like horse racing, uh, you really don't necessarily want to bet on the horse you think is most likely to win, but over the long term, the one that offers the most value. Texas, despite being only 18 and 18 this year, the best team to bet on, they've won you $668 based on $100 a bet. San Fran is 20 and 14 plus $637. St. Louis 21 and 14 plus 617. Boston 22 and 13 plus 589. Another pretty good example though, Seattle is only 18 and 17, but they won you $570. That's after the juice. You know, for example, betting against them minus $782. And one other team is above 500, Oakland, which is 21 and 15. I should say one team is above. $500, that is, $500. Uh, Oakland at 21 and 15 has won you $562 this year. Who have been the best teams to bet against? Now, this is how much money you would have made betting against them after the juice. Uh, the Minnesota Twins are 12 and 20. You would have lost $1,590 betting on them, but betting against them even after the juice, you're plus $1,385. Again, demonstrative of what I talked about. Dodgers are a winning team this year, right? Well, not according to your wallet. Although they are 18 and 17, betting against them has won you $812. Detroit is 10 and 24, betting against them $678 on the plus side. And one other team is plus at least $500, betting against them. Colorado, 12 and 22. And if you bet against them every single game, you'd be up $632. Why don't I give you the free pick from Joe Duffy's picks for tonight? Joe Duffy's picks off of a 13 and 4 run, including the NBA Sunday night game of the year in Minnesota. All we did was win by 32. 2-0 2-0 NBA sweep led by the NBA total of the month, but your free winner for tonight is to go with Atlanta minus the 8 against Washington. The Wizards are off a rare occurrence, back-to-back overtime wins. Now, fading teams off of consecutive overtime games, we also had to throw in some rest dynamic parameters, is 40-20 and 20 in the history of our database, including fading such teams If both of those overtime games were on the road at 13 and 2 in the history of our database. Wow. Now, fading teams off a win in which they gave up a lot of assists, 7 15, 5 48, and 23. Remember, when it comes to contrarian betting, betting against the public, when you bet against public dogs, you know, some people, what do they call them? Uh, Trendy, trendy dogs, I've heard on the VSIN or. I've heard other people say, you know, public dogs go to die. Well, Washington has a whopping 71% of the bets on them. In fact, we have another contrarian index that is, you know, a little bit more exclusive, where I know, a, let's just say, a lot of serious local guys around the country, and I know where the money is going, and they're also telling me a, a super strong consensus on the underdog and when I say these are guys that take square bets I mean the public truly adores the favorites and about 62% of the bets are on 
the wizard using an index that is so favorite heavy. Now, finally, Bradley Beal is out for the Wiz. Um, it's a little bit of a tough one because when teams their first game without a star usually rally around it and the odds makers over adjust and maybe the other team gets a little too overconfident, a little bit of an emotional letdown. So that would say maybe bet on, on Washington, except remember, as we just said, the Wizards are off consecutive overtime games. It's late in the year. Tough time to be losing your star player, a guy who, who might win the NBA scoring championship. Uh, Sportsline, one of the better simulators, has us covering 65% of the simulations. AccuScore, which much like Sportsline, does 10,000 simulations each game individually. They got us covering 54.7% to 42.1%. The rest, of course, are pushes. So a lot of intel tonight says go with the Atlanta Hawks. Once again, the Atlanta Hawks. Now, where is the public money going? A uh, very strong consensus play for tonight on the Indiana Pacers. 91% of tickets. And we have uh, about 5,300 bets played. So that's a high percentage of tickets on one team. As much as the public likes betting road favorites, 91% of the tickets are on the Pacers. But we're also going to talk about line moves in a moment. So that's pretty significant. Uh, Milwaukee, not surprisingly, 80% of the tickets on them. Now, we do have another public underdog, New Orleans. New Orleans getting 10 points. 70% of the tickets are on them. As I said, Washington getting six. We now have, as the, you know, these are, it's being updated live. So now 68% 60, uh, of the tickets are on the underdog there. How about the percentage of the money? And again, a lot of other people say, look, I would rather fade the money because Sports books, they always make money. Bookies, they always make money. So root for the same teams that the bookmakers are rooting for. 95% of the money is on the Indiana Pacers. Therefore, contrarians would say you want to go with Cleveland. 95% to 5% for Cleveland. Again, 85% of the money on Milwaukee. It's looking a similar consensus to what we uh, just told you. And... 80% uh, of the money is on Portland, and that's kind of really, when it comes to the percent of the money, usually right about 85% is kind of our, our cutoff point, unless it's on an underdog. And sharp versus square, the only real sharp versus square indicator would be to go with the Memphis Grizzlies. A lot more sharp money on one side on Memphis and square money on the other side. Now, here are the biggest line moves of the day in the NBA. Indiana opened up as a four and a half point favorite to Cleveland. They're now up to an eight and a half point favorite. And the only other semi-significant line move, Atlanta opened up as six and a half and they're now up to eight. And we kind of told you some of those reasons why. Please visit us at Offshore Insider for the latest breaking information and for the best premium picks as well as vetted sportsbooks. It's offshore, insiders.com.